what happened last time. Nothing major, I assume. We once again managed to pull an entire session of RP out of our ass. <laughs> out of our collective ass. It's a very it creative ass. House, had empty no thoughts, but I'm pretty sure I was a cat for the majority of the session. Yeah, it was final preparations in the defense. Uh, then we had one nice big old meeting, which kind of went over everything. And then uh, now we're here, waiting on them to come to us as we stand ready to defend. Indeed. Group. Before you, as you stand on and amongst the walls, uh, of the city of Grove you see the thousands of amassed figures some corporeal, some not um, I believe I was using the token of Providence's old sword to represent the party, where would they want to be? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you guys want to be more front and centre than where you are I don't know about everybody else, but I was thinking kind of like a bit off to the side, like not in right in the vanguard, but because uh, their plan is to kind of sneak around uh, this and go fuck these people up. Yeah, I'm good with being right on there. Okay. Uh, you see some movements as the. Hordes of goblins seem to part ways um, and allow a very menacing ghostly figure entouraged by about 25 other very menacing ghostly figures. He stopped short before the, I want to say, a wall of force? There's a wall of force and the, well, actually, I'm gonna, they're not gonna be there at the moment. That was just kind of like prep. Okay, I'll just put them into the GM layer for now. Yeah. He'll stop short of the army as a whole. Um, yeah, thank you. And we'll just call out. Cool demands dialogue. It's gonna look to the others. Um, um, should we grab one of the leaders? I mean, worst case, if fighting breaks I'm out, I'm sure we can defend them. Sophia is currently uh, with the other druid members um, along the wall. Uh, Perdak, the one of the other leaders, is uh, currently in. I'll just give a little gold token is in that uh, tribe of like peasant warriors and Madame Lulu is with the other casters I say aren't we really already with a representative of Grove? Looks at Audra <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I wasn't elected, so... No, but, I mean, if we bring one of the leaders here, we've then got to consider getting them out of the fighting. Right. Okay, sure. I would love to have a dialogue. Hi. I, I guess let's approach as a... as a, us, then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't move, I can't move this sort of thing, so I guess we... we... Yeah, just give me a second.
as this is ongoing, I'm going to take this opportunity to pour Luca to cast Long Strider on herself. Yeah, would the um the the Come Tower three be a part of this as well? Or would they be interspersed elsewhere? I thought we put them with others because it was more of like, hey, we're going to act strike force, go gonna take out the head. You guys are gonna with you know, help the others not just completely fucking die to the massive amount of orcs. Luca's gonna screw up a straw lot, but I don't know what to say. Sam will stay back, like, almost acting as, like, a general. Alright. And you approach the one who demands dialogue. It looks at you expectantly. Uh, it seems to be curious as to why you haven't approached. I realize we can't approach. I think here we go. Yeah, so it's the distance on this. Uh, another five feet won't hurt. Sorry, I was just me measuring out war crimes. <laughs> why am I not surprised? Okay, so Luca would be a part of this, not elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. She, she's got. I, I. There's. She's gonna get a lot more utility out of acting individually. So. Okay. Understandable. You wouldn't want that flowchart to go to waste. Yeah, I mean, a whole chart. <laughs> the one that you can safely presume is known as the Ghost Lord steps away from its assorted horde. And looks at all of you. As I am sure you are aware, we have come to bring an end to Grove. We may do this swiftly, or we may do this harshly. Which is the option where we fight you? Harshly. I think it's pretty apparent that we're picking that one. I know that the six of you seem very competent. I have had visions of your fighting prowess. But will all the forests be as lucky? All of the peasants. All of the very burnable houses. These people have trained knowing what is coming. They risk their lives for, to defend the home that they grew up in, the home that they love, and you sit here and try and take that for granted, take that, and try and twist it as some kind of veiled threat. I don't believe I was veiling them. I, I feel like that you, you've been pretty forthright with your thoughts, which we appreciate. Um, so, if that's all you wanted to say was to like ask us to lay down and die, I'm not sure like there's much of a dialogue to be had here. If you submit, we will not destroy the peasants, the innocents. We destroy only those who are responsible for our ire. Wait, your your ire? Who's who? Explain. If you surrender and come with us, we will let the peasants live Inside as long check. as they can. Sure. How much is this dude lying to me right now? This, this seems like something that it's holding back from you. 
Um, it's quite hard to like read this um, like skeletal face. There's very little movement, so you're mostly having to go by like yeah, voice have, tone. Like, voice. Yeah. Um, there's like there's something that isn't being divulged, but when it comes to talking about being allowed the peasants to live for the moment, uh, there seems to be truth. Um, this person is also very assured of like their victory should it come to fighting, or at least ensuring that you have nothing but a Pyrrhic victory. So, I uh, would like to discuss the subject of your ire just a little bit more, but I also feel like there's something that you maybe could communicate to us that you're not, and you know, if you really want to actually have an open dialogue, maybe you should just like get it all out there. That which I withhold, I do so because it is not my place to discuss. It is the Worm Lords. Well, it might influence our decision, so maybe you should discuss it anyways. It is not regarding the current circumstance. For this, he seems to be truthful, at least. Between you and me... <laughs> As you, like, approach within five feet, this guy, um, like, raises this mottled, like, glowing purple hand. Step back. If he, if he, if he attacks me, I'm gonna attack, just so you know. <laughs> he's, he's definitely, um, like, signaling that he wants a bit more personal space. If, like, you want to continue a dialogue. Um, go back to your original position. Insight check, am I gonna get anything else out of this guy? Is he gonna divulge anything further? <laughs> go for it. Yes. Okay, so I, I, will, I will take one respectful step back. There is civilization here after all. My name as we are talking as equals, is long lost, but you may call me the Ghost Lord. And yourself. I, I mean, I, I guess if we're going by titles, I'd be the Asturias. Ah, yes. I know of the Asturias. <laughs> and the rest of us are the Hexad and friends. I assume it, this, like uh, uh, the mention of and friends, Luca like flexes her muscles. Luca has been flexing this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Luca is just that super buff guy from Full Metal Alchemist. Luca is like is like full Hercules right now. He's like, come at me, bro, vibes. All right. Yeah, pretty much. And you, the Asturias, as your title suggests, I assume you care about the lives of your underlings, your. Friends. I do, but I also care about their quality of life. A quality of life that would be very difficult to live in a burnt down forest and a half burnt home. With half of you dead. It would also be probably pretty difficult to live being constantly, like, hounded by ghosts, no offense or enslaved and turned into orcs forcefully after being killed. To be turned into orcs. Well, to run the risk of being turned into orcs. Or to starve to death slowly, agonizingly, knowing that they could have fled. An interesting Dilemma. Psych 
technically I say to all my friends, we're on the same page about this, right? I'm not like, crazy to tell this guy to screw off, right? <laughs> Should I say help? <laughs> what would you all respond with in your minds? Just raw panic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, things are going to be on fire with me here regardless, so let's have some fun with it, you know? Okay. Well, um, you know, we appreciate the offer, but counter offer does this guy look like he can do magic <laughs> out of curiosity Ren, does this look like a magic user to me or a oh magic? for sure for sure a magic user like this this dude um if 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 you were to look up lich in like a pictionary which you have on multiple occasions this guy would be Actually, run a history check. Oh, I love history checks. God damn it. Another game of where's the fucking phylactery. Fuck! <laughs> you feel like you have actually seen this individual's portrait in a book before. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> okay, let me just... Oh, by the way, are we still experiencing uh, stormy conditions from the storm the day before, or has it cleared up? Uh, the storm kind of went very far south. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's not something that's existing around you guys right now. Yeah, for sure. I wish it was a cleric right now. <laughs> you can. Okay. Um. I'll just go start packing up. Uh. The ghost lord will smile at you. Yes. Consult. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna flee a little bit. Um. A little bit more than that. Oh, uh, he's so close. Okay. I'm gonna. Back up all the way to the edge of the map, honestly. Um, and I would like to cast Moonbeam in the center of his troops. <laughs> as okay, so for the rest of you guys, as you see Audra like backing up quite rapidly, what what? How do the rest of you react to this? Chance is going to stand in the way of line of sight. If anything's happening, he's going to be ready. I mean, if people are ready to fuck shit up, Solus is ready to fuck shit up. Something <laughs> towards the tree line. Mm -hmm. Luke is getting closer. <laughs> oh dear. So much for diplomacy. Very well, the Astorias. Oh. I do Change have a thing. out a small size as people as Luca starts going forward. We could have backed up and just. Mm. If you want me to back up, you say back up. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was on the phone and it was a kind of important phone call. That's fine. Oh. Uh, d d d uh, negotiations have failed. I know. I'd like to try something. Because if it's it's going to go violent, I may as well try. Do it. Uh, oh, wait. Google spreadsheet, work with me. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna spend two side points and try that against the Ghost Lord. Ooh, Could very well fail. What do you well, ask? Uh, mentally. Okay. Well, it's more I give it... Oh, wait, no, that is the wrong one, sorry. Um, it is... Problem is they're next to each other. It's the that one. 
basically, I make it believe a statement for five minutes. Uh, the statement being, like, oh god. Basically, in ten words, I explain that there is no hope for them winning, and they should just run. <laughs> okay. Holy shit! Plus fifteen. Fuck you. There's a lich. Well, I can, I can certain lich. Try. It was worth a try. So I'm gonna rule that like that pops off at the same time as Moonbeam, and at the same time um, that. I actually meant call lightning. That's my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'll call lightning. Yeah, I meant call lightning. I don't know why I said Moonbeam. Um. And at the same time, Luca will be stepping up to the Ghost Lord, and he will react uh, by melee attacking her. Yes! Attack me! Do it! <laughs> okay, uh, should we all roll initiative? Or sh are we doing kind of initiative? Uh, we'll do initiative after these three attacks are resolved. Uh, so what is Luca's AC? Uh, Luca's AC is... I have some people in this group. Uh, 21. A 32 hits for 9 cold, and you need to do a con saving throw. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a key point to reroll, which I believe I can do. Let me just get my mug shut. Yeah, once per day I can reroll a miss save, so I'm gonna reroll that. Cool. Nice, you succeed, so you aren't paralyzed, but you do still take the nine cold. I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay, and uh, call lightning. Yes. Uh, call lightning is a is a deck save. Hold on. I'm just. Bell's not popping for some reason. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna hit just like a central point so it hits as many people as possible because it's everybody within five feet. So I'm just gonna hit like the most central guy and hit nine people with this. And they all have to make deck saves. Oh, and I would bonus action into my wild shape starry form, the dragon form, if I can do that right now. If not, that's cool. No, it's just the one thing you're doing right now. Okay. Um, and as yeah. combat is initiated all around you, uh, you hear the sound of a mass of goblins moving towards Grove. Okay, uh, you want to roll that um, lightning damage? Fourteen, and it's a dex save. I believe only My two My save is like twenty-one, so I think it won't take me one save, so I'm not sure why it's saying seventeen. Okay, only one. And none of them pass technically. Though. Actually, none of them pass. Yeah, save is, is 22. Nobody passes. So they all take 14 damage. How, how hurt do they look after 14 damage? <laughs> well, they're like um, ethereal beings that, yeah, they don't really have like a solid form. So it's like very hard to tell, but uh, they seem to be just grinning at you. Great, 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 great. And then we roll initiative. Just give me a sec. There's a lot of things to juggle right now. Yes. Just want to make sure I wasn't rolling it before the tracker was up. Okay. Yes, everyone please roll initiative.
chance is ready. Holy shit. <laughs> question is, do I want to, like, fuck up this group, or do I want to go after the Ghost Lord himself? I mean, if you get rid of him, they might all be dismissed, so... Mm. And we are on the path between the Goblin Army and the city, right? So they would have to pass this situation in order for them to get to the city. Yes? Some would. They're... I mean, they're, it's... So I just want to make sure it's not going to happen without us realizing. Yeah. Now you can hear that it is now happening. What? What is? What is? So in the, terms of like the bigger the map, the assault has wrong. begun. Okay. Like you can hear the uh, like the the movements of lots of of boots. But yes, chance was born ready. Um, so I think now's probably a good time to <clears throat> use this, given that we really need to kill this guy. Um, so Chance is going to begin the Blade Song. Let me tick that on. Let's tick that on, too. Um, and that's technically off currently. Uh, and then as he draws his sword, he uh, he speaks the contingency uh, words, which is, I require haste, and contingency uh, triggers uh, casting haste on myself. Uh, so I get a free little cheeky haste. So as you do that, uh, the Ghost Lord... Casts counter spell. It's um, it's a mighty shame I'm going to counter that counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and have that have that haste, buddy. Hey, nothing quite like it. Now I move super fast. Not that I need it as a uh, chance moves in and then Ooh wee, it's time to start a swinging. Uh so regular attack, extra attack, followed up by hasted action attack. Uh, does a 25 hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he is now under the effect of Mind Slash, which is if he willingly takes a reaction, uh, he's going to take extra psychic damage. Until the start of your next turn. Yeah. Uh, same as, um, it's kind of similar, it's just a uh, Thunder sh uh, booming blade. Uh, but this one's to really screw over people who cast. So if he wants to counterspell, he's gonna take uh, some psychic damage in return. As long as he's not immune. Yeah, there, there's that. Well, uh, so why is that only plus three slashing. Did that break? Oh, all my cantrips broke again. Uh, can you add another six damage because the cantrips broke and didn't add my dexterity modifier to the damage? Yeah, I can do that. Add another, how much did you say, sorry? Uh, six slashing damage, uh, magical slashing damage. That's good to specify. And that's all I can do, because that's action, uh, bonus action to Blade Song, then uh, hasted action, so that's everything. Okay. Okay, uh, for 
first thing I'm going to do as an action is bring down another bolt of lightning in the same spot. I'm still concentrating on that spell. Sure thing. I think it's actually impossible for them to save, so I'll just roll the damage. <laughs> it actually is, yeah. They have a plus zero. <coughs> um, and then I am going to bonus action go into my archer starry form. And as part of that, I get to shoot off a lightning arrow. I'm going to shoot off one at this little guy hanging out here. Sure, go for it. Does a 33 hit? It does. For 14 again. Um, and all those guys in the center took 22, yeah? Mm-hmm. Alright, that's Aldra's turn. Okay. Um, this one here is going to move up. And is going to cast Silence. Centered. That's kind of rude. Where, where is he? Oh, that area, okay. <laughs> okay. It's fine, they can simply walk out of it. This one's gonna move up. And cast silence. These bitches. Wow. <laughs> Double silence. Are they gonna hit? Come on, hit me with the triple silence. Make it, make a Venn diagram. <laughs> of silence. It's already a Venn diagram. It's like a three-point Venn diagram with provenance in the middle. <laughs> and then we need to start figuring out what the uh, things are because Solus is technically in this one. Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> and one final silence goes over Audra. We're so close to greatness. <sighs> I'll still one more before my turn. <laughs> At the end of the last uh, Ghost Lord's turn, um, uh, the last Ghost Warrior's turn, the Ghost Lord is going to use a legendary action to hit Luca again. Yes. Nice. And Luca. Okay, so um, I am going to cast Hunter's Mark. On the ghost lord. Mm -hmm. Can you link that spell? Not the forbidden text. Uh, it's just gonna be three this time, but uh, yeah. So. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check if it was ranged weapon or weapon attack. No, it's just regular weapon. There are melee rangers too. Um, and I, I have my Anakin you. say, so I have, I'm attacking with my plus one magical sword. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take two attacks. First one, I'm going to mark this guy as my favorite foe, which is more ranger shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I presume that hits. Oh yeah. I get a bunch of extra dice. I get an extra 1d4 per person per turn for dreadful strikes, another 1d4 for favorite foe, and then the three above for hunter's mark on that first attack. Attack number two, extra attack. I presume that hits. Another d6 yes. from hunter's mark. Another d4 from favorite foe. <laughs> Um, and then with my bonus action, actually I'm going to make that second one, I'm going to burn a key point to try to stunning strike this guy. So he has to roll a constitution save against my, it's like a wisdom based spell save. Con save. Con save, correct. That doesn't pass he anything. Failed! Okay, well he he's gonna. Ah fuck. Um, can 
Okay, just to make sure I can both attacks, actually, I forgot I had that for a second. Can you what, sorry? I have enough key points, can I standing strike on both attacks? Standing strike on both, so the other one you've already done. Yeah. So he has to make another con save. Okay. That saves. Um, and then as my bonus action, I get a free bonus action attack because I use key points. <laughs> okay. And I'm also going to stunning strike. That doesn't hit. 21 doesn't hit? Nope. Okay. Um, I am going to keep you attack in that case uh, to make it a 22 by spending one key point. That's a lot of key points. Yep, I have 14. <laughs> I'm burning them all. Uh, ah. But it still doesn't hit. Sorry. Okay, I get, actually, it's plus two for every one I spend, so it becomes a 23. Okay, a 23 does hit. And I will key point stunning strike. Ah, <laughs> uh, high level mugs. Just burning through every single key point in one turn. Yeah! <laughs> Who knows when I'm gonna get fucking paralyzed and won't be able to do it anymore. Fair enough. So, uh, another con save. Succeeds. Okay, that's Lucas turn. Say one thing about the Ghost Lord. He's consistent. I'm trying to make him burn those legendary resistances, honestly. I know witches aren't immune to stun. This charming fellow is gonna move up. Uh, and is going to cast Dispel Magic on Chance's Haste. That's kind of rude. <laughs> That's incredibly rude! Uh... I can't counter spell that. Yeah. But if they all have it, me ca casting counter spell is going to be useless, and it seems they all have the same spells because we saw them use three fucking silences. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to counter spell it. Because I think at that point it's just going to be. 17 more guys casting Dispel Magic. Which would be funny as hell. I forgot the extra dice in that last attack run, I'm so sorry. It's hard to keep track of all these dice when they're just like random dice. I'm like, but what are you? Yeah, one's favored foe, one is Hunter's Mark. And then I also have Dreadful Strikes, which is from my Ranger shit. But that's only once per turn. Um, at the end of that one's turn, um, the Ghost Lord is going to cast one of his at will spells, uh, targeting both Chance and uh, Luca. How dare you use my spells against me? <laughs> Constitution. That's like my worst one. Oh, okay. I just straight can't save that. Unless I, I roll a nat 20. Day. But today is not that day. So you're both pushed 10 feet away and take 9 thunder damage. Uh, thunder, so I'm not resistant to that one. Solus. Okay. So, um, oh, actually, it's a good thing that you move chance, or something move chance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean after the question, are you okay to get hit by a fireball? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, before I do this, I just want to make things very clear. If these guys have fire resistance, they don't. Um, and so, um, yeah, let's go. So I'm going to need literally every single enemy here to make a deck save. <laughs> well, I'll let the ghost lord go first. What's your DC, by the way? Uh, yeah, let me just throw that out, should, shouldn't I? Um, 
so I can calculate as I roll who passes. 18, and then give me 32 damage. Ghost Lord fails, but that's fine. Just going to be putting like tokens on who succeeds just for me, just for a momento. I think we've if we translated this to Baldur's Gate through the physics ending would just fucking crash at the amount of the dice. The whole game being would rolled. fucking crash, absolutely. They'd be like, stop doing so many AoEs. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some of them pass. So I think that's like two saves. <laughs> Three saves? Five. Oh, five saves. Oh yeah, five saves. <clears throat> um, so, so, these guys are not what you would refer to as resistant to fire damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's something else. Wonderful. Um, they, they seem to be vulnerable to it. <laughs> Good job I'm here then. <laughs> Let's go! So for all those who failed, that becomes 64 points of damage, yep. uh, which will wipe out all of those who didn't pass who had previously been hit by the cool lightning. Cool. Um, those who did succeed take the 32 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Um... And then... Um... I'm laughing now! <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Just give me a sec to um, update, like, all of the hit points. <laughs> yeah, um, and then as that gets thrown out, a cloud of embers left behind. Natch. And, and then bonus action. Now, um, I'm going to off the necklace, snap off the shadow fell shot. I'm just gonna. Yeah. There's there's a, there's just a lot of tokens that need to update. Yeah. This, so. <laughs> no. Nope. time to figure things out. My brain has just gone blank. Somatic is like hand gestures, right? Somatic mm -hmm. hand gestures, correct? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let me just double check because silence might be perfectly fine for me. Yeah. So silence only affects verbal spells. And trying to talk verbally. Is not a problem for me personally, but some people have that issue. Oh, sweet! Counter spell isn't verbal. Counter spell is so, is so verbal. <laughs> it's just somatic. Is it for yep. real? Yeah. Right. I <laughs> just. I like to imagine Providence's uh, somatic component is just flipping people off. <laughs> just like, oh, one hundred percent. It was something different, but now it is. Summoning like full Skalad. Oh god, don't bring Skalad up after the conversation we had. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, all right, and also the Ghost Lord doesn't appear to take damage from that that fireball. Oh well. At least if he looks behind him now, he'll see half the army that he saw before. So. <laughs> <laughs> Of his super immunity? Because I thought the elemental adept uh, lets you deal 
It's only against resistance and vulnerability or something. Oh. Maybe I'm used to like a homebrew version or something that turns immunities to resistance. Hmm. That's a different thing, I think. I think that's a tiefling exclusively, if memory serves. That does sound cool, though. To be super clear, I, also, I have a bunch of monk shit, which makes all my attacks magical, in case that's effective and they think up until now. <laughs> yes, uh, magical attacks are definitely necessary right now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just saying, as a baseline, all of my attacks, even punchies, are magical. Punchies. Uh, you begin to hear like the sound of more movement, kind of quite close uh, in front of you. Can should we make perception checks to see like how far off slash where things are located? God damn, they move fast. Yeah, can I, I was gonna say, can we get a, like... can I make a perception check to just see the big map again and see where things are? <laughs> You can try on your turn. Okay, I'll do it on my turn. Thank you. Uh, for now, it is these guys who are gonna basically try do as much as they can now. This one feels quite harmed, so steps up to. Um, well, she can reach all the way up to Solus, so is going to do something to Solus. Um, that's a lot of damage. Well, it's good to have a, have a good con save. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that's so good! I think I did it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Will Chance be as lucky as another approaches him for the same? God damn it. No. I, mean, I, much... I have a very bad con save. Uh, how much damage is it? Because it's half on save. For you, it would be half of 57. So 25 plus... so 28. Yeah. Is there any way for me to cheese this to get out of it? <laughs> Technically? But... yeah, no. You're gonna take the full 59 damage. I am. That's bad. You have been harmed, son. Oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, so that's, uh... Minus 59, and then my maximum HP is reduced by 59. Oh, I can't even help you because your max is reduced by the same amount. It's only for an hour or until... Uh, yeah, uh, for an hour, any effect that removes oh, disease, disease as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. So I currently have minus, I'm just going to make note of this, is minus 59. Because it can only technically ever bring me down to a... Uh, Uh, to one HP. I'll still always at least have one. Uh, so currently my max hit point is 55. Okay. And the last of this group of three is going to cast Hold Person on Solus. I don't know. Um... How many? Just... Uh, 17 is the DC. Okay, so is, is it just one person or is it all of them? It's uh, one enemy. Okay. I wasn't wholly paying attention. Um, okay. That's fine. Nice. You don't get held and it's Providence's turn. What, rub what, what, what chaos are you going to unleash now? Right. I would have had a chance to do, like, prep getting up to here, right? basic action stuff yeah you've had like a, a good amount of time between the meeting and now 
I was going to say, my, my stuff isn't time dependent on prep, so... Okay, time to do some mystic bullshit. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da, where is... That's an action. I'm so glad I set it up as, um... Spreadsheet stuff. Cool. I will pop two points as a bonus action to pop there and back. So the I'm going to teleport. By Bilbo Baggins? Quite possibly. Uh, I'm going to teleport 20 feet right next to the Ghost Lord. Uh, I'm going to smack this guy with a fourth level Shadow Blade. Does a 28 hit? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm going to pop Blood Fury Tattoo. I am going to pop uh, all seven points that I pre prepped into Brutal Strike. So that is 7d. Six, so it's seven d six plus four d six. I don't get potent psionic on it. That's four d six plus seven d six, and this is a fourth level, so it gets an additional two d eight. Uh, so it's seven and then four, so eleven d six of psychic. Now, is he resistant to it? Because I do have a thing that will. He's not resistant. That. No. Cool. He's also not vulnerable or neither of those two. Okay. So it's just he's immune. I'm just like, oh crap. You, it, you kind of have a Catherick Thorn moment with this guy. You sink your uh your blade into him, into his neck, and the shadowy brute force of it is should be enough to seriously wound this guy, and he just smiles down at you and goes, try again. Of oh, fucking course. Okay, well, there and back triggers, and I return back to the silence. Oh, fuck. That counts me out of the fight because most of my stuff is psionic and psychic, and that's my turn. Only against the Ghost Lord. Yeah. Okay, that's that's turn. At the end of your turn, um, the Ghost Lord's going to use his last legendary action for this round, uh, and is going to cast another at will spell. Which is just a simple ray of frost against you as you flee. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 14. Okay. <clears throat> this one is going to move up and attempt to hold person Luca. Wisdom save? Yes. And what effect does whole person do again? It's just the linked in the chat. It's paralyzed? Yeah. Mother, okay. you are paralyzed. You can Fuck! make the save My... at the end of each of your turns. Okay. I believe also that that can be uh, changed. Give me the spell. Also, it's just yep. Um, just breaking up the 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 monotony of the super powerful spell casting for a second, this one is going to try and rotting fist punch uh, chance. But that I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> this one is also going to rotting fist punch against uh, Luca, which I believe comes with advantage since you're paralyzed. And I think is an auto crit. Uh, it's only an auto crit if it's a melee attack that hits. It is a melee attack. And does it hit? Yeah, yeah 22 for me. I think. 
Um, Actually, uh, where's my? I have my cards here somewhere. They just appeared on me. Yeah, I've got like a thingy for it too. I'll just double check it. Quick hide. Okay, I am paralyzed, which makes me also incapacitated. Any attack that hits you yeah. within five feet. Within five feet, as long as is it's a crit. Life, yeah. Uh, so I'll just hit that again. So that's 64 damage total. And a fun chance for you to be cursed with scale rot. You do get the ability to save here. Since it's only... Um, I'm, I'm immune to disease, so I actually am fine. It's a curse. The curse? Come yeah. on. Yeah, look, look at the, the last sentence. The curse lasts until removed by the remove curse okay. spell. Okay, what's the constitution saving throw? Okay. It's only a 16. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like I'm in danger here. There's so much constitution stuff being thrown around. Aluka may be paralyzed, but she is not rotted. She means she may be paralyzed and have a significant case of the owies. Yeah, for sure. Big ouch. Yeah. Uh, da -da. Uh, this guy is going to cast harm on Providence. Bro, what? Roll a con saving throw, please, buddy. Uh, yeah, no. Hit me with that cool. Your hit point maximum is also temporarily. Oh fuck. Oh okay. Thirty nine. Yep. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not as rough as losing like half your HP. More than half, actually. Sorry. Well, I'm. I've got less health than you. <laughs> At base. Uh, I mean that's fair Everyone too. Everyone needs to stop just just stop taking hits. <laughs> Wait, do you also have a D6 hit dice? A D8. I just have shit gone because <laughs> I don't know. I had a third of my mass ripped out. That's oh, fair. Yeah. So that happens to you, and then it is the Ghost Lord's turn. As a bonus action, he is going to invoke a curse. He is going to invoke the curse on chance. He's also going to step forward into the side a little bit so he's not in fireball range. Also, I can delete this fireball thing, can't I? No, no it's embers. Oh, right, yes, embers. Uh, well, I physically can't save that. Yeah. So you have vulnerability to necrotic damage, and you can't regain hit points. Starting to think I should have kept Tash's otherworldly guys prepared. As his action, uh, the Ghost Lord is going to turn and look at Providence. You can hear something in your mind. I sensed you enjoyed the spell before. Uh, I'm a counter spell that. I can go fucking do one. Uh, so it's an it's my spell casting because that is an eight for him. Ah. Yeah, uh, it's above third level. See, so nice. Okay, you are able to save. I mean, counter spell it. I can't say anything to him, I'm in two sets of silence. <laughs> you can always mime at him something very quick. Just glares. He 
doesn't seem to look as annoyed as you would think he would look. But that is his turn. And the last three move out of the ember range. Uh, the top one is going to cast Guiding Bolt on Solus. Do you bitches get Guiding Bolt? They do. Fuckers. 28's going to hit, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. uh, Solus is looking the most like beautiful Twilight fantasy he's ever looked, but he also takes 10 radiant damage. I oh, know. I know, right? Uh, this guy is going to cast Silence. That's not... I mismeasured. Just there. And then finally, uh, this one is going to cast Harm on chance. Uh, how many more do we have? Three more before it gets back to my turn. That's spooky. You're also currently vulnerable to necrotic damage. Yeah. I am screaming on the inside. There's literally uh, nothing I can do because you were cursed. Yeah. Uh, so... Do, okay, I don't think I get my reaction because haste was cancelled on me, um, and because of that, until my next turn I can't move or take action, so I don't think I get a reaction is how I'm reading that. Because that's technically, a, like, reaction has like, action like in the name of it. I don't, I don't count reactions as actions, I only count actions as actions. Okay. But then on my turn, I would be able to take it as normal because it ended during... Yes. Okay. In which case, I'm going to... What is it? A 6th level spell? I don't want to use my 6th level spell slot. That's spooky. It's... That or you get downed right now. Because you're yeah. about to take 110 points of damage. Yeah. I mean, that, that technically outright kills me currently. That does technically outright kill you. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, well, technically harm can't reduce past one. Yeah, harm can't. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. But it would bring me to one HP, uh, until I get things ended, so I'm gonna counterspell that. Uh, six level counterspell, so just tell it to fuck off. Okay. Uh, the Ghost Lord's gonna counterspell your counterspell. Have they already used his reaction? No, he's had well, his turn since then. He's used a legendary action. Yeah, uh, I don't think anybody else has counter spells, so I go to 1 HP. Oh, he actually does have to roll for it. Mm, I suppose. It's 6th level, so... Um, I'm just double checking what I'd need to... if I have a modifier, if it's just a straight D20. It would just be your... it, it would be whatever your casting stat is. Yeah, plus whatever the cast instead is. Oh, then <laughs> he definitely gets that. No problem. I'm... I, mean, he has uh, I don't know what it is, higher. is the problem. Because I could point him to tell him you get a fucking 2, but if he has a yeah. plus 15 in intelligence... No, it, he can't have a plus 15 because it's not a save. It's just an ability check, so it's just a plain plus 5. Unless he has some like other mm. stuff that increases his counter spell. I mean, if it's a plus 6, my... 10's not going to save me here. But if it's anything... But do I think it's a plus 6 based on that I have a plus 6 in dexterity? You know that he has a plus 15 to his intelligence saving throw, so it's yeah, so a gamble on what plus... you think his proficiency is. Yeah. Uh, with that, I'm going to pour into a 
three. So he rolls a three for it, plus whatever modifier he has. His modifier is a plus seven. Okay. So he rolls a ten. So it fails. Which fails against my sixth level spell. This is like some Magic the Gathering level counter spell stack. Um, so I'm a blue player, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Control deck. Uh, so your portent counteracts his counter spell. So you are able. My counter spell counters the harm, so I don't go to 1 HP until not. the next one goes, and then I'm probably going to 1 HP. It's possible. But for now, it's finally your best boy, the Swim Saving Grace. Please help us, Arizid. It's Arizid. Uh, I'm hiding. First of all, I'm hiding. Naturally. With my cunning action. Oh, whoops. He also takes, um... 12 psychic damage. That definitely matters, because he used his reaction willingly. True, and it's not been since your turn yet. But yes, uh, alright... Arizid, do you want to do a little Heidi Heidi roll roll? Also known as stealth? Okay. Someone called me and I had to make them stop calling me. I'm good now. Okay. Stealth, please. Nice. That's a pretty I solid roll. I tried to click on it and it didn't work. <laughs> oh, it did work. Okay. So you are currently hidden, right next to a tree stump. Uh, okay, everyone's no. dying. I would like to uh, uh, use my action to volley. Mm -hmm. So I can use a ranged attack against any number of creatures within 10 feet of a point I can see within my weapon's range. And I would like to choose this point. Uh, so I would be attacking six creatures. Yes. And all with advantage because I'm hiding? Yes. Wait. I mean, yeah, unless I have a higher pass than 22, which I doubt. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, yeah. And then the first, uh, the first one is going to be with sneak attack, and I guess the first one will be against the one that was affected by the fireball. With Volley, do you roll separate attacks, or do you just roll one? Uh, all of them are separate, I think. Okay. Because they all use separate arrows. Yeah, you make a separate attack roll for each target, yeah. Cool. Okay. Open the can of whoop ass on these six. Cool. I'll just go, like, top to bottom, left to right. Uh, so that hits. First one also gets sneak attack, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just move the sneak sneak attack from the the second one to the first one. I I just for gore. Is that the six? Cool. Yeah, the six. Cool. Second one is thirteen damage. Wait, does it hit? Yes, that does hit. That one takes 13 or so. Twelve. Two more, a spicy 14. Noise. I think that's all of them. That is all but, of them. But no, it's, it's not all of them, because then I would also like to use... Fucking a uh, horde breaker and uh, attack the creature that is within five feet of my last attack. Okay, so that would be uh, one of these two. Yeah, just just pick one. I don't I don't mind. They're both like similarly HP, so I'll do the top one because it's closer to chance. Okay. Nice. 
a solid extra 12 and these guys are starting to look um very holy okay now i'm gonna take away seven silvered arrows yeah nice okay one. uh that is me that's my turn because volley is not an attack, it, it it it's an action, so I can't do it twice. That's understandable. That would be AP. It'd be fun. I don't know, Ren, I feel like that's balanced and fair. Uh-huh. Oh, 100 kind of fucking sucks, so it'd be nice to get something. Right, so the remaining four move forwards. Uh, the first one is going to use Dreadful Glare upon you, Arizid, now that you're visible. Uh, is Aerith still in Blade of Freedom here? Uh, I get advantage against Wisdom saving throws to do with magic, I think. Let me double check that, though. <gasps> also, Avra gets advantage on combat if I need to remember that shit, okay. <laughs> Yeah, quite useful, right? Wait, doesn't that mean Chance does too? Oh wait, no, is that not the ceremony? I keep forgetting. No, I wish. Uh, this I is wish the I last could... day of ceremony as well. We just get an extra plus two if we're close to each other, which honestly wouldn't be all that helpful right now. Mm. Almost at the time, because oh, yeah, you have very... You two have very different fighting styles. <laughs> yeah, I mean... They're also throwing, like, a shit ton of con saves, not, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> uh, so, it looks at you, menacingly, and you're just like, get fucked. Which is an understandable reaction. The next one is quite offended by this, and so casts hum on you, Arizid. And that is a con saving throw, please. Mm -hmm. Con saving throw. Where the hell is my constitution? Oh, normal, let's go. Okay. Unfortunately, you take the 43 points of damage and your total hit points are temporarily reduced by 43. As a reminder, you have invulnerability, and you can just say nope to this if you want. Oh yeah, I want the yeah the boon of invincibility. I'm going to use the boon of invincibility. So that's reduced damage taken to zero. Nice. But it doesn't reduce the hit point maximum. Well, uh, the hit point maximum is... Well, you take is... no damage, so your hit point maximum is reduced, is reduced by zero. Yeah, the hit point oh. maximum is uh, however much necrotic damage you take is how much uh, hit points you lose. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll do, I do that then. I just kind of, I just kind of get mad. Understandable. Um... The one, like, way in the back over here is going to... That's a touch. It's going to cast a Guiding Bolt on Audra. Hits. Oh no, 13 damage. <laughs> and you're, like, all shiny. Oh no, I'm shiny! Fuck, I know what this does! <laughs> And the last one is going to, just for good measure, do a little silence. And finally, it becomes Chance's turn once more. Uh, If you could, like, vacate yourself for the premises, I can detonate a tactical warhead. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. You can't and, communicate uh... that, you're silenced! <laughs> Well, I mean, that's I the point anyways. Chance is getting the fucking well, dodge. Two people in this uh, party have telepathy. We can talk whatever we want. <laughs> we're, we're going to just misty step the fuck out of here. 
because uh, I can't really handle this. Uh, con saves are not my save. Uh, and then we just run. We fucking run back. So we're, we're not afraid to be a little bitch when we have to. Okay, so uh, Chance will uh, hit the, the flee option in battle. Nah, I need to figure out. They're probably immune to that. I Wait, no. I know what I can do. So before... So standing here before he moves out he needs to be here. So it's a 20 foot circle is fireball because I can cast fireball too. Even after you've already cast one spell? Oh shit, that's right. I had to misty step out of there. Um, in that case, uh, I'm going to re... Let, 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 let's just do a cheeky little replay then. Oh, whoa, of... whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't misty step because I'm trying to... Whoops, I need to go up. Tactical nuke. <laughs> Instead, we're going to use the boon of speed to bonus action disengage. And then I can just move my 70 feet of movement. That's like a free Misty step. <laughs> Basically. Oh, wait, wait, I'll... Yeah, more or less. So that's my bonus action instead. We're going to get back here. We're going to start measuring out a fireball. Uh, 20 foot. Center on the middle. Uh, and then drag it bottom left, you can hit all of them. Oh, 20 foot, yeah, 20 foot radius. I would move it over to the right, honestly, because you can get those guys on the right as well. Yeah, I think these two are probably less of a threat currently. So this hits... That's, hit, that's hitting everybody but three. So that's hitting the yeah. them. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this so it lingers for a second so we know everybody currently in it. Uh, and then the sun's tear lets me cast fireball once per day. Uh, so f fucking fireball. Okay. So basically, every with everyone but three guys, if I'm reading that yeah. right. Yeah, they're all within that twenty foot radius. <laughs> it's. Oh, you have a 21 DC. Yeah. Okay, it's pointless rolling any of these saves then. They have a plus zero to their mod. Oh, the Ghost Lord might make it. The Ghost Lord is immune no, to fire damage. Oh, he's immune to fire, of course he is. So it's pointless rolling saves for anybody. They just all take the 37 damage. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> yes! They take... They take 70... What, 74? You die. Yeah. You die. 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 That guy only had seven HP left, damn. There we go. That that cleans things up a bit. Uh, with that, Chance is then going to uh, fucking run back here right quick, uh, look over towards Audra. Uh, if you can remove curses, that'd be lovely right now. Uh, there's only like two of them on me. So Arizid has a helmet on that, that can do that? Um, I can't do that today. <laughs> I uh, 40 so feet, I and then that. we're going... So that was 30 plus 40, so that is my 70 feet of movement uh, to get back here. Oh, what a slowpoke. And I say that telepathically to Chance because no sound can pass through this circle. <laughs> uh, Chance then looks towards Arizid and just like starts like yelling at him as he starts like pivoting, and that's my turn because that's everything I can do. That scares him so bad. Okay, before we move on to Audra's turn, it's a bit early, but we're gonna have a little break here. Okay. I am Hongi. Right. We pick up once more at the beginning of Audra's turn. All right, at the top of my turn, I'm going to change my starry form as a reaction, which I can do to mm -hmm. Chalice. Do you still want to do what you wanted to do in your turn, perception-wise? If, if I can make it for, like, free and not an impact my action economy, then yes. 
you could do like a quick glance, but that I wouldn't show you the map I'd just describe. Okay, I'm I'm okay with that. I will do quick glance. Roll perception. You get a very quick but a very thorough glance around. Uh, you can see that, like, you see beyond the horizon on the road, there seem to be, like, a horde of goblins uh, less than a hundred feet away from you. And they seem to be, like, running, like, something has motivated them to dash and dash hard. And you can see, you can't make them out, but you can see in like the spaces between the trees on either side are more shapes moving forwards. Every now and then there's like a, 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 a yelp of pain as one of them succumbs uh, to a, a well-placed spike trap. So just so I'm understanding what I'm seeing... Our tr I'm not seeing our troops to the trees, I'm just seeing this horde of goblins basically racing towards Grove. Yeah, the troops are where you, like, deployed them to be. Okay. But the advance has begun. Less than a hundred feet away from me? Yeah. Well, I, more like less than two hundred, really. Uh, let me just measure it exactly, actually. Perfect, thank you so much. Yeah, 175 is the closest. Okay, and that would probably be estimated, uh, based on the rate that they're running, they probably would be within 100 feet of me, like, next turn? Yeah, or maybe one turn after that. Okay. Um, in that case, I am going to... Let me do one third of feet. Sorry, let me put this in measuring. Okay, I'm gonna step out of my little circle, <laughs> even though it's such a pretty color. <laughs> I'm gonna step out right here, um, and I'm going to cast heal on Luca, who is one of the only people on the map right now. I think he can benefit from seventy hit points. <laughs> yep. Still paralyzed, yeah, but still a lot paralyzed. healthier. It fit paralysis, unfortunately. Yeah. Almost back to full health. That's great. Um, and then because I'm in my chalice mode, I get to give an extra two d eight to somebody within thirty feet, and I'm gonna give that to you. Providence. Can you regain hit points right now or no? I honestly cannot remember. Have you been? Are you still harmed? Yes. Uh, okay. yeah. Then I'm gonna do 2d8 to myself. <laughs> I'm the only one who can fucking benefit from it right now. Harm doesn't prevent you from being from healing yourself. Uh, it's the the. It just this... reduces your hit point maximum. Yeah. Which makes healing stupid. <laughs> if you could see the amount of health that Providence could gain, you wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> well, if you're not. <laughs> Can I retcon and give it to Providence, or no? <laughs> sure. Okay, uh, Providence takes 12 hit points. Yay. Um, and then as a bonus action... So was the chalice thing just like like a free action? Yeah, it's a free freebie I get at the beginning of my turn. As a bonus action, I'm going to change it again back to Archer, and I'm going to loose a cute little arrow at... The big jerk in particular. <laughs> Which does hits. And that's all just turn. 21 lovely points of radiant damage. Um, and I am maintaining concentration on call lightning still because heal isn't concentration. So yeah. I'm just holding on to it just so you know. Okay. At the end of Luca's turn, please roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay, and if I fail this, I'm gonna reroll it because I actually learned that I can just—it's not limited once per day. I just can, as long as I have two points, I can keep trying okay. to reroll. <laughs> yeah, DC twenty. I'm gonna reroll. <laughs> Fuck! You're getting closer. One better, you're you're getting there. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. 
<laughs> Silas. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna blast some bitches. Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's go in view movement there, and I'm gonna use my action to cast Sunbeam. Um, and that's going to be hitting all the three guys um, right in front. So, I see. Uh, these ones. That's annoying. I assume it's um, just half damage on a on a on the save. I do so, yeah. Um, and undead users have disadvantage as well. So if they're undead, then... Undead. Oh, just all undead have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. The Ghost Lord um, has like a shenanigan around that. Because okay. he boss. The top one still saves. Cool. Um, I don't really and need I'm... anymore, but... Uh, yeah, the other guy can take the rest of the damage. Well, hold on a sec. 30 radians. No, hold on a sec. Um, I'm also going to use Empowered Spell. Ah. Uh. Um, so... I'm just going to spend a sorcery point. And let's see. Reroll two of those. Um, so minus six plus eight. So, so 32 that's... overall. And I'm going to use my shard on the Ghost Lord. The little shadow fell one. Um, to give him disadvantage on dexterity checks and saving throws until the end of my next turn. Dexterity, okay. Mm -hmm. Ten? Uh, not quite, because I can still move. And because of a little thing like that, I can move 30 feet down. <laughs> so I'm going to go to there. Nice. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Providence. Thank you, Solus. We are of one mind. <laughs> these, these bitches in particular. If I send to that, that is 20 foot radius, I'm going to hit all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just going to call down some really horrifying red lightning. Ooh. Uh, I'd like all of them to make uh, on saves, please. That's a success. That's a success, that's a success. That's a fail, wonderful. At least one of them fucking failed. Um... <laughs> So it's 8d6. It's just my luck. On a save. Yeah. Okay, so it's... That's 17 on a success. Uh, the one who failed is stunned. Even though one of them um, succeeded, they still evaporate into nothingness. And the one that failed should be stunned, but only had 33 hit points left. At least it's doing something. Uh, I would have used psionic mastery for that. So that doesn't come out of my standard pool. Uh, and then I'll use a bonus action to proc uh, feet of strength, which is a plus five to strength checks until the end of my turn, because I either use those points or I lose them. So. And that is my full turn. Okie dokie. Uh, at the end of your turn, the Ghost Lord is angry with what has been going on. Uh, and is going to use two of his legendary actions to cast Frightening Gaze against you. 
Understandable. Wisdom save? Yeah. I don't think he's close enough for that. Oh, that no, is ten feet. correct. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's well. different. Oh, I misread it as the dreadful glare distance, which is 60. In that case, never mind. He's just uh, going to uh, Ray of Frost you. No. So anyway, it's his turn. Ah, fuck. You have become all too troublesome. Die now. Uh, <laughs> Again at you. Counterspell. I'd like. I'd like to do that. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, what's your modifier? Maxed. Standard max. So, five. Oops. Ah. Uh, uh, do I? Or higher? <laughs> it's good. There no, is. I got a ten to throw out still. There is something. Do I have something for this? This yeah, is very you important. Roll, roll. Uh, you're, you're in a class I know nothing about right now. Yeah, there, I'm feeling like there is something in this absolute mess of a damn spreadsheet. I don't think there is, unless it's strength of mind. What's, what's my range here? I need to move 50. Nope, I got nothing. 50 boppity boo. Here we go. Sounds about right. Just doesn't make it. Yeah, I've got nothing. I don't. Uh, I think I. I can't do anything for that. I have, I I woe today. <laughs> Telekinetic. Is it, is it possible to counter spell while also another counter spell is going on? Yeah, I mean it, you have a separate reaction, so everybody can drop as many of them. Yeah. Cool oh, counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, charisma, there you go. <laughs> oh. For a second, Providence, you feel your light, like, you just drop to one knee as you feel your life being sapped away. And then behind you, you just sense Solus flipping off the Ghost Lord. <laughs> and you feel your soul going back into your body. Yes. Ah. Very clever. Enjoy one of these. Fire Knight. Against who? Against, uh, Silas. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so, con save. Uh... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Uh, yeah, that's it, so I don't get hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, but this last one's gonna like, pop out of the the woodwork. Doing all of the, the heavy lifting of the entire battalion now, and is gonna try and harm Solus. I'm mean, not gonna jinx what I just put in chat. Okay, well. <laughs> Still saves. Yeah. It's not in that, though. Close enough. Um, so much damage is that? That is uh, 23. Uh, okay. Let's find something real quick. Um, 23. And then I need to pick another con save for concentration. Uh, I'm fine, I think. Barely, yes. Uh, the end of your turn. Actually, no. Never mind. How is it? Uh, 
Okay, hi. Um, what would be worth doing? What would what would what would be worth doing? I'm looking at my. It's, I will maybe cast silence on 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 the guy. Is that? Uh, there's a few of us that could use a uh, a, a little lesser restoration to get rid of curses on us to reduce. Oh yeah, our I forgot. Hit point you did immediately run up to me screaming. Uh, so oh, it's more of like a turn. Like, Eris, it help. Ah, uh, uh, cause. So Chance yeah. is looking the most fucked up right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and Audra can do nothing uh -huh. to help because he can't regain hit points right now. Cause he's uh, I don't know. In a, uh, I mean, in a I still close have... second is Providence. I mean, I I have I don't know what Providence is currently at, but I mean I have like forty eight out of fifty five HP because I lost over half my HP. Oh, uh, but I also have vulnerability to necrotic damage, so I can't really get in and fight the or er, the Ghost Lord until I get that removed at least uh, so uh, with greater restoration I can get, get rid of from the helm I can get a one effect reducing the target's hit point maximum uh, I, the hit point maximum is less of a issue I think than the info curse because I mean if I just have my hit point maximum reduced I can still go fuck them up and still have a chance, like a fighting chance, but if I'm vulnerable to necrotic damage, uh, there's I can a also good chance that I just die. So I'll just go up to you and get rid of that curse. If I can uh, move, if I can move. Chance! Chance! I, I reach out and I just give you like a, a soft, gentle hug because the range is touch. Ah, oh, I'm feeling much better now. All right, it's time to go finish this. Um, I'm going to start looking up something. I'm looking up something. Okay, I have one. The second call I got in the in the course of this fucking thing. Um, yeah, uh, I got one greater restoration left. Uh, so don't fuck it up, and now I'm gonna go over here and hide again. Anything else? Hiding, hiding with my sneak. Um, at the end of your turn, the Ghost Lord is going to look around, sigh, <laughs> turn back to all of you, and just go, See you again. And he's going to use one of his top tier legendary actions, and use teleport. Oh, you bastard. Can anyone counterspell that? <laughs> Can I counter spell? Because I, I fucking ran. Because I'm six. It's sixty feet, so I'm ten feet out of range. You, uh, yeah. Um, Solus and Providence have already used their reaction this round. Um, to counter spell a power word to kill for some reason. If you have counter spell, which I doubt, Arizid, you can use it. I don't. In that case. Uh, the Ghost Lord is going to teleport away. Poof. Coward! Chance. Well, here I go killing this guy in retribution. Uh, sword attack, green flame blade, because I know he's weak to fire. Oh, whoops, that's the leap, not the attack. There he's already go, dead. <laughs> like, he's got 16 just... HP left. <laughs> uh, the first one just kills him. Uh, the second hit outright kills him. Uh, yeah. Just just cut this guy to bits and then look towards the others. <laughs> uh, we, we should get back and alert everybody of 
the weakness we found. Most of them look quite happy to see this, um, except for Luca, who is just looking quite frozen. Uh, can I, I? I was gonna say I, I wanted to when the orc army got within a hundred feet. I wanted to cast reverse gravity. So has that occurred yet? Since we're kind of at that point in the initiative order. Not yet. Okay. How oh. far off are they? Yeah. How? How what? How far off are they? Uh, they've moved like sixty feet, so they're a hundred and fifteen feet away from you. Okay, I want to cast reverse gravity, ca affecting as many of them as possible when they get within a hundred feet. So just let me know when that happens. Can you please link um, the spell? Absolutely. Okay, so that would deal with two battalions. Only two? I was doing the, the math earlier and it would look like it would grab like six of them because it's 50 feet wide. Oh yeah, so it's radius. 100 feet across. And then we're talking squares, so... I did the math and it was like nine of them, at least. Yeah, I, I already said... Sorry, it's, it's, it's a lot to keep in one mind. Yeah. I, I have a little circle on the original map that's like light grey that I dropped. Oh, that, that was what that was. Right yeah. Yeah, kind of deleted that because I forgot what that was and it was in my way. <laughs> um, we will then go back to uh, the original map. And this is where actually people would have moved further up now. I'm kind of concerned that Azure isn't here. I mean, he was supposed to be coming later, right? No. Nope. Supposed to guide them. They figured it out. Okay, so I want to get as many as possible. I'm just trying to figure out what that would be. Gosh dang it, I'm having a hard time. So that, I think, would be... No, one up. I think I want to cast it there. I think that's the best possible. Unless somebody else is seeing a better circle to do. Uh, circle... It has to be 50 foot radius that size. That's probably the best one we can find. And I like it because it's right in the middle. So. Mm. Um, okay, but yeah, I'm going to do my normal thing of casting it, and then once they're 100 feet in the air, immediately dropping it and making them suffer 100 feet of falling damage. Bye bye, something local spell. Okay, so that's going to be dexterity saving throws for for them to try to grab onto some fucking uh, onto a fixed grab object it can reach. So there has to be something in reach that it can actually grab onto. Yeah. So, so the uh, ones in the middle are going to auto fail. Yeah, but <clears throat> all of those that aren't like on the path itself, I'd say have like a 50% chance of being able to grab I'm being onto able to, like, grab a bush or a yeah. tree or something for sure. So that would be a, a no for the first. Okay, why so. Are these, why are these D100s? Percentage dice. Uh, I can't multiple token. That's annoying. So I'm just gonna like denote the ones uh, where a significant portion of them have managed to get like grab something as I do it. That's 
you were able to do it as well. As were you. Okay, so these are the guys that have some mitigating circumstances, but the rest fail. Uh, what is your DC for this? 22. Well, they have a minus one to dex, so I'm not going to bother trying to roll <laughs> 200 dex saves. I was, I, was about to, I was about to say it's it's a pretty high DC, so I think they're all going to probably automatically fail unless they have really good dex. Yeah. Would you like to take the honours of uh, rolling, I believe that's 10d6? That is, yes. <laughs> My goodness, my goodness. You gotta be the answer only for this. Okay. Of those who aren't able to grab onto trees, about two thirds of them do not survive the fall. Don't fuck with the druid! <laughs> Come into my house! Touch um, my trees! So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna be deleting like some of these and like the survivors will be added to like other circles yeah. to make it clear the dexterity saving throw is to successfully grab onto something that it can reach so it doesn't they don't automatically succeed if they have something in range I know. Okay. Unless you want me to roll like 300 um Yeah, I mean, I mean well, I'm, I'm saying, I think it's impossible for them to save, so I think everyone would automatically fail. Because you said they have a minus one. Unless my math is wrong. Uh, like, it's not math. wrong, I just didn't interpret okay. the dexterity saving throws uh, for grabbing something as against your... DC. It That's would... what it says. A creature can make a deck save and throw to grab onto a fixed object it can reach, and that's what the save is for. Yeah, but that's not like what what I read from that is against grabbing something, not against your DC. Why wouldn't it be? I'm confused. Why wouldn't it be against my DC? Yeah, look, oh. um, we're trying to massively overcomplicate something here. I was trying to streamline it by. <laughs> um. I need a second. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry. I just I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm just really struggling um to be able to do all of the maths and then also try and explain it while I'm also like having to do like three threads of thinking at the same time. Sure. So, sure. okay, so I would uh, I would ask for some quiet for a second while I explain my thought process here. So uh, the 37 hit points that people have been dealt, uh, instead of trying to take that away from like every single goblin for like the 300 odd goblins that have been affected, what I decided to do was to de like decrease the overall amount of them by two thirds because these goblins have about 60 hit points. So this is about two thirds of their hit points, which would be taken off. So like some I of already them... understand and I'm fully good. Okay. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought you were like using a different DC other than my spell DC to like for them to save from it. And I was like, I'm not understanding why that's happening. Right, I, I think what happened there was that like I misread or maybe misinterpreted um because it's it's not it's it's frankly it's not clear as to uh like if you're trying to grab something if you're being yanked upwards 
um, and you're trying to grab something, I don't see how that. Uh, I I, th I think it could be equally interpreted. I mean, please, anyone else chime in here. But I think it could be equally interpreted as being like literally just you being able to grab a thing. But I don't think that that would necessarily become your spell save DC. Yeah, I think if you're like right next to something, it makes sense that you can just kind of like try and grab onto it. But if you're like farther away, you have to like try and leap and like grab it type thing. Uh, I understand they're. It's just on spell save DC because that's the mechanics of D and D. All spells work off spell save DC, but I see both angles type thing. Okay. I mean, the only reason I even brought it up is basically if a creature doesn't have anything to grab onto, they're not even able to make they automatically fail. You know? Yeah. Basically, they just fall into the sky. <laughs> Which they're many have. Not, they're not to mention the fact that if these packs are made of like different types of enemies with different stats and stuff, then it also streamlines it in that way as well. Which Since some of them are. To... Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's been stated that it's not... I've been calling them goblins, but there's like goblins and orcs and hobgoblins all in the mix here. Okay, they're, so they're, these are like mixed, non-homogenous groups also. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm fine with the way it's being rolled in this moment, but I, just, I was just like... I was very confused for a second, but I understand now. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... I don't think that this is like an automatically kill 300 things in one ghost kind, like, level spell. That's... I mean, if they were slightly lower and they all had an average, you know, sure. or if I had rolled, if I had rolled better. Cause and they were all in, like, a completely day. empty area, then yes. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, they have been able to, uh, like, if you were being hoisted up by gravity, like, uh, that's at a constant speed. Uh, so it's, like, the speed isn't determined by your spell save DC. Which is my thinking. You're uh, only able to get up to um, what is it, the the hundred feet total in one round. But it's it's just one hundred feet. What period? They basically okay. go up, uh, and then basically when they fall back down, they'll they'll take falling damage. I just basically let them go up, and then I drop the spell immediately so that they fall. I get you. So, like, what I'm saying is that, like, the rate in which you would ascend isn't based on, like, your spellcasting ability per se, which is why I didn't think of uh, the DC for the uh, uh, dexterity save as automatically tied to your, your spell save DC. I asked what it was as an automatic thing without really thinking it through. It's like, some, event event some goblins are able to grab onto trees. I mean, I'm fine with it just as, like, under the logic of, like, these guys don't all have, you know, they, they, a lot of them have more than 37 hit points, so instead of, like, figuring out the math for them individually, we're just going to kill some. Yeah. Um, I'm fine with that math, but it is, like, I just Googled it, and, like, like technically, like, the DC would be the reverse gravity DC, because you're, you know. In, <laughs> in the interest of, like, keeping some of the pace going? No, 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 I was going to say, let's okay. move on. I totally understand. Cool. I was cool to move on a little bit ago, actually. <laughs> All right. The first time I was like, I get it. I was like, we're good. Fair enough. I think I just kind of felt pressed to give like, ah, uh, it's just a thing in my brain. Um, anyway, a reverse. Lost in the proverbial sauce. Mm. Things have happened. A uh, reverse gravity is being given, and you can hear a lot of panic in the trees. Um, you can also hear some panic behind you guys. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's get the the heck out of Dodge, and uh, we need to go find people who can cast some uh, little lesser restorations and everything. Yeah, Luca keeps, like, fucking failing these wisdom saves, so someone needs to help her. <laughs> look, look, we're going to simply grab Luca. Uh, carry Luca, you know, one person gets, like, the shoulders, one person has the feet. It's quite easy to carry Luca because, like, you're not carrying, like, the sagging, uneven, dead weight of a unconscious human. You're just carrying a statue. What? Is it a condition? Yeah, it's par it, she's paralyzed. Okay, cool. I'll spend three side points and cast for restore health to remove paralysis. Two people have already picked her up, so you just do that. 
Yep. <laughs> just does All that right, everybody stop touching me. <laughs> I presume, like, Chance just is one of the people doing that because he was, like, right yes. next to Luca and just lets go. J just doesn't care and just, like, slow fall. Yep, there you go. Lands. <laughs> How long will it take us to get to where we want to go? Where do you want to go? I'd assume uh, to go find Ely people. Yeah. We need to go to, like, the Druids, I presume. It's probably our best bet for just a shit ton of lesser restorations. Um, uh, Luca and Audra are both okay. I don't think they would retreat from you guys. They're, so most of them are on the walls, so that would be... For most of you guys, it'd be about two turns of dashing. Are we presently where that sword is? Yes. Okay, um... Audra's planning on... Audra's gonna stay there and she's gonna do more AoEs as they approach, um, and Luca's also gonna stay there and fight this entire army. Yeah, no. Uh, Chance grabs Audra by the shoulder and starts dragging what? at least... Why? At least I'm, back... I'm fine! At least back to where, like, there's people to rush out and defend. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. I'm at the vanguard now. We're good. As you're being dragged away with horror, you can begin to see the um, forests start to go up in smoke. You didn't. Um, how far away is that from me? Oh, that's really far. And I think you, miles you guys have here. probably retreated a little bit by now. Yeah, we're probably like at least here type thing. If I no, no I'm gonna... You already got rid of the, the gabos that are that were dead from yes. the gravity, right? Okay. Fucking Mechus. Not much I can do against this. Yeah, once that uh, chance has dragged Audra more or less back to <sighs> relative safety. He is then going to dash into the air and move as fast as he can okay. uh, to go find one of the druids to cast Lesser Restoration. Okay, I think in order to preserve some form of, like, um, my sanity here, what I'm going yeah. to do is I'm going to have two initiatives. Well, three initiatives. Yeah, three initiatives. One for the group, one for the defenders, and one for the attackers. In order to work I out those from the group, I'd like to ask everyone to roll an initiative, and then I'm going to take the average. Oh, I rolled bad. You're letting the team oh, down bad. there. I'm sorry I rolled a five. Luca literally rolled a four, like... Did she just wake up? I need one from Arazid. Awesome. Awesome. Don't worry about it. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Sorry. Help. 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 Help? Do you need help? Do you need to roll it for you? Stars, my computer. It's not slow. I just, I, I. Is it? Is it being? Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, it's not being a dink. Plus twelve. Okay, so that's ninety-nine total divided by six. It's sixteen point five. I'll lay, roll that up to seventeen. My initiative has been so cock up with me. I'm sorry, guys. To preserve my sanity even further, I'm just going to roll straight D1 D20s for the other two because there are far too many different modifiers to deal with. <laughs> the duality. <laughs> the duality of man. 
the duality of terrified majority of terrified people, vicious fucking army. Oh. Stalwart defenders versus tired guys who have ran already like hundreds of feet. I mean, it makes sense in a way. I did also yeet a massive borderline divine level storm at these fuckers. Like. Yes, there were like a good 3,000 before you did that. Yo! All it took was a third of my body mass. <laughs> <laughs> and your eternal constitution. Oh, don't worry, I can buff that shit up. Some of the, like, the defenders around you guys, as you begin to edge your way closer back to them, are looking around themselves, kind of panicked. The Kantawa warriors begin to, um, edge out slightly more, begin to take on a bit more of a frontal assault as do the warriors from Onalembo and the summit uh, as people do that chances like as we kind of start seeing them chin starts to yell uh, the ghostly ones are weak to fire uh, spread the message uh, so hopefully that'll like trickle throughout everyone so they all understand what if it ends up like a fucked up game of telephone the um the vast majority of the like peasant defenders are gonna stay put. Uh the Drea Critor on the hippogriff slash wyvern mounts uh, will advance a bit more, circling over the battlefield. Uh somebody can cast a message to the Drea Critor, right? Yeah. I, I have I telepathy. Have yeah. Uh, someone needs to let them know, because they're currently circling in the, uh, up above. Use fire, if you have to. Or it may burn, but it will grow back. Man, we should have did, like, a, a, a line around Grove, like, just cut the trees down and do, like, a controlled burn so a massive forest fire wouldn't destroy the city. Hindsight's twenty twenty though. Uh, it is currently the party's turn. Yeah. Uh, uh. Chance wants to take everybody who got hit with uh, reduce your maximum HP, and we we should all go uh, go get some lesser restoration from the druids. I'll agree to that, but considering what I do has a range of literally anywhere. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, where is it? Did I copy it? Yeah, so I'm gonna. Oh, for the love of God, Google Sheets, work with me. Thank you. So, uh, I see Solus's mom there. Yes. Oh. I'd like to try that, please. Uh, <coughs> using the spores as well. As almost like a channeling method. Fuck off two. Uh, the message is uh, we are your allies. Burn all those around you. Annihilate. Damn. I'm gonna do um, a super sneaky. Um, uh, what would we call it? A uh, cinematic thing. I'm gonna make this roll in private. <laughs> Hell yes! So it's a intelligence save. Is an intelligence save against DC eighteen? Because I don't believe there is anything I could do to boost that. Interesting. 
so I would like you to also specifically type out the the exact ten words that mm-hmm. you're you're saying. Or you know, up to ten words. Uh when I can spell There you go. God be polite. <laughs> Sincerely, Roman Tolt. And like I, like we, I'm specifically meaning like Grove and the Defense. Th- those are the people yes. I think of when I say I don't include the summit in that way though. The summit can burn for all I care. Well, um. Only like the the ten words are gonna be communicated. That's fair. The we is gonna have to be up to interpretation. Oh fuck. The we is one of the number one best selling games consoles of all time. It is. Okay. We shall see. So we but have yeah, I go with chance. Some people going for healing. Some people doing shenanigans. Is there anything else that anyone else would like to do in this moment in time? We still have a couple of walls that I've hidden into the the, the uh, GM layer if people want to do those. Oh, those are mine. I can't do them yet. Okay. Um, I have one thing. <clears throat> Go for it. Assuming this is the time that Ilda gets to act. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so where would Ilda she be, w- by the way? Would she be, like, with the druids, or...? Um, she would be somewhere up on the wall, pretty much. Okay. That way she can overlook the whole thing. I'll say with the druids, then. Sure. Um, she begins casting a massive incantation. Um, as a storm begins to form near the back line of the battlefield. As uh, she casts Storm of Vengeance. <laughs> So bad. Um, this is a 360 radius, um, and the range it can be centered on is within her sight. So <laughs> uh, it's gonna be about like that much. <laughs> cool, 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 <laughs> cool. Um, so first off, every single creature. Um, as it's summoned, gets struck by lightning, uh, taking just a bit, bit of damage, but they were also all deafened for five minutes. <laughs> so any commands are not heard. Um, and that's it for this round. More fun stuff will happen later. Cool. <laughs> Hadra looks at her tiny, <laughs> her tiny create lightning stuff, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, I kind of want to either get close enough to. I don't think I can get close enough to create water. I'm pretty far. This chance drags me back. Adam, so far from everything, Chance, why'd you do this? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna accept that I can't do anything about that fire for now. And instead, um, I'm gonna cast Conjure Animals at 5th level. Which allows me to duplicate to double the number of animals. So I got sixteen wolves inside of me just hanging out. <laughs> also, if I'm not already in that starry form, I'll change to my dragon starry form for concentration reasons. Um, but yeah, sixteen wolves, which I, I think is like a little battalion of its own, are just gonna help me out and I swear someone had like who has the sixteen wolves inside of you meme? 
I just looked, but it's not in my, in my meme folder. I have eight and 32, take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> just just post eight twice. <laughs> Sorry, I use, I use my phone's little spell slot so we don't get 32, but there are 16 of them. That's fine. I just half it. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, literally said half the image. <laughs> just split it down the middle. No, you're gonna do it uh, vertically, not horizontally as well, so it cut the, cuts the text in half. Yes, there are inside it. So yeah, I summon okay. 16 wolves and they start, you know, going forward. And then as Luca, Luca's gonna try to cut through here and actually fight some of these generals, I think. Okay. I Luca actually have potentially a token that would represent a large amount of wolves. I think I warned you about this. That would be that. Would be... <laughs> yes. But I get warned about a lot of things on like a daily basis. So sometimes they yeah, fall out you of don't my always head. Have time to... Yeah. Yes. Yay! Puppies. Uh, and they're just gonna be in front of me, like directly in front of me for now. I once had this token for the uh, druid in my Curse of Strahd game. And the one time that she turned into a uh, uh, dog, she was mostly oh, a, 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 mount, a, a fainting mountain goat. Right. Okie dokie, so you've got a heckin' load of wolves. We're gonna consider those part of the party time initiative order. Because otherwise um, I'll go crazy. Well, crazier. Uh, and then I guess Luca will just like rush up and start pecking people. She's really fast. <laughs> How fast is she? She has Longstrider on right now for at least another 50 minutes. So okay. I actually... She is 65 fast. Plus she can dash and shit. I actually have an adjusted CR for her, just in case like you guys only wanted to run one character in combat. So this actually might be a time in which I can showcase my unit level combat Ooh. formula. <clears throat> okay, so each of the the three Kim Tower uh, player characters have an adjusted CR of 14. Because apparently, in order to work out a CR of a player character, it's about two thirds of their character level. Oh, I thought it was their character level. Interesting. I thought that as well. I just looked it up to double check. And yeah, learnt learnt that. Uh, so if Luca just like straight up like runs into, um, like one of the 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 groups of goblins. It's a CR 14 versus a CR 50. Each of the goblins has a... Okay. Each of the goblins has a CR of 2 and there's 25 of them, but... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna fight them all at once. <laughs> well, here's, yeah, well, they're, they're gonna try fight you if you try... Like, they've organised themselves into battalions of 25. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, you're gonna approach them and the, the formula I've like research because lots of other people have had to do with things like this is that it's like um it's like the overall num like cr value for the whole unit uh times by um environmental variables um for all defending units you get a 1d4 plus bonus for traps and if you are a commanding unit you get an extra uh, plus for half of your CR. So that is... Uh, so you get a plus 2, so that's a 16, and then that's an extra plus 7 overall, which is 23. So if you were to take on like half of the of one goblin battalion, you'd be able to wipe them out without any harm to you. Alright, I, I do that. I start with, um, I'm going to start with one of these ones like up here that's kind of isolated so I don't get ganged up on. Cool. 
unfortunately, because they are in groups of of 25, not groups of 12. Um, yeah, it is going to be a little bit trickier to get out of there un unharmed, but I'm assuming you're not planning on taking exactly zero damage. No, I'm not taking a little damage. Um, so overall you're going to lose about da -da -da. about half health attacking a single battalion of goblins on your own. I kill the battalion though, right? <laughs> you do. You do kill the battalion. Okay. Would Luca like some assistance? Yeah, let's do it! Assist me! Yeah, fuck it, Samantha will join in with rage, with smite. I would like to use the army as an improvised weapon. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, um, so you're also going to get all of those exact same bonuses. Uh, so you have an, a minimum of 21 plus a plus one CR for all the traps around you that you can eat people into, so the pair of you combined have 45 CR. Cool. The two of you have a 45 <laughs> CR. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually going to send Audra's Wolves to fight with them. Does that increase their CR at all? Oh yeah, Audra's Wolves. Are they just wolf wolves? Yeah, they're, they're like 16 standard wolves. Can anyone tell me real quick before I finish googling it what the CR of a wolf is? Uh, it's they're in the um the bestial monster section. They I have a know. CR of one quarter. quarter. Yeah, yeah, one quarter. Although if it's more advantageous, I can summon fewer of something with a higher CR depending on how your formula works. Um. Did did it? So sixteen of them. Uh, four of them would have a CR of one, so they'd have a, f a total of a. Total Three CR or CR. four. Three, four CR. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so that would bring your total up to 49, which would make it a pretty even fight. Alrighty, let's do that. I'm going to use the wolf token to deny all of you guys at that point then. Uh, you've already done one fight and defeated one battalion, so unless anyone else wants to do anything with this party time round? Uh, this... do we get healed? Or do we, like, get to the healers type thing for those going you would, for healing? You would get, heart, like, halfway to the healers. I think at this point it might be advantageous to split you guys, so just, um... Give a, uh... a, a, a scared noise if you're going to the healers. Uh, uh, there you go. We can just use chance for going to healers, I guess. Okay, so Solus, Arrow, like did are staying behind on like the front lines. Yeah. Okay. I think it's like I think Solus, Arizid, and Audra are staying. No. Oh no! You, I thought you dragged Audra with the, you. Uh... Sorry. I thought you dragged Audra with you. No, 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 no. no. Just to the like, back to, like, here. Yeah. To where people are. Okay. And then Agar was like, alright, enough already. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, this wouldn't... is complex. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't Arizid be coming with, because didn't you get hit by harm? No. Uh, uh Arizid and vulnerability that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, that's that? right. Yeah, so I guess it's just the, the people who got hit by harm are heading, heading over. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's just, uh, because I don't think Solus would want to go even, well, he did make the save, so it's, he only got harmed-ish. <laughs> so it's he just, didn't get uh, his hit points reduced. Yeah, it's just chance and providence then, and then I'm going to assume uh, that everyone but Luca, yeah. who has happily jumped back into the fight. Yeah, during this time as well, like, chance is going, how far up are the Dreyer Couture flying? Uh, they're kind of fluctuating between 40 and 70 feet. Okay, Chance is basically going to walk up to one of them and go, Hey, the ghost people are weak to fire, and then walk back down and continue walking beside Providence. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, with that, 
with no other <laughs> last minute things. We're going to flip over to the attackers. Who are all deaf. <laughs> what was that, Sonny? I'm just going to move you for a second so I can mass select. And they begin to advance more. The defenders, uh, a lot of them cower, except for the healers um, in the druidic uh, enclave, who will like move over towards where uh, Chance and Providence are, and offer some greater restorations, which uh, Sophia Nix and Oldbort can cast, and I assume yeah, Elder as well. Um, yes. Yeah, so we'll take two of those. Okay. The whole two, and now it's just, uh, don't have that much HP. Yeah, you still but got I some owies, but you're back. not cursed. Exactly. And then it comes back to the party's turn. Um, so, Storm of Vengeance moves into the second phase. Oh boy. So that's acid rain. <laughs> oh boy! Um, so all creatures within are taking one d six damage. Okay. I that can't type. Four. Oh no! Okay, no. One d okay. That's not. That's Hold on. Big <laughs> heck and storm. There we go. Yeah. And objects too. So the plant yep. life. Yep. So. Well, the fire goes out because it's raining. <laughs> the fire <laughs> does go out! <laughs> <laughs> Small well, miracles! <laughs> Aren't you happy yet, Audra? Oh god, Audra's the fire's put out. Happy. She's jealous, but she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. It's only four damage, you'll be fine. God help you if you're a commoner caught in this, though. <laughs> ah, well, that'd be fine. Um, <laughs> at least they're caught sort of mould with the earth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Bear with me. Wait, hold up. Okay, I think that's what it was. Right, okay. I can't measure anything else. Hold on. <laughs> I think it was two. Because some of them were beginning to escape it. Uh, any other party members want to do anything? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't have the range. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same position. I'm assuming uh, Samantha, Luca, and the dog tribe, you want to go about attacking another group of uh, goblins and orcs and that? Yeah. Come tower smash. <laughs> Come tower for life! I'm gonna look at my spell scrolls too. I got a shit ton of those. So with a fairly even match between the pair of you and you guys, or like Luca at least, not being at full uh, effectiveness since you've been half hurt, um, the pair of us are going to roll a d100 each. You two decide between yourself who rolls it. You've been rolling better than me, so I thought this was, was going to say, <laughs> Josh, roll. Yeah, okay. Beat a 33. Nice. It's, yeah. Good call. I'm glad I made that call. Um, so which of those battalions closest to you would you have been attacking? 
whichever one Luca picks, Samantha is there to take hits and smite it's, it's bastards. It's the one that's closest to uh, our defenders, so just the one that's the furthest out. Uh, so they are wiped out, but la like both of you have also taken more damage doing so, as have the wolves. Um, it would be that two of the wolves have suffered mortal loss uh, damage. And Samantha would also be on about two thirds health right now. Okay. Um, I think close enough that I can master wounds them. I think they're too far away. Oh, that's a stupid map. Okay. Everything's so fucking far. I will just move myself. Dash. Oh wait, no, I can pull some. Uh, yes. Yeah, we're healed now, so... Chance rejoins the party. Yes. Back um, there. I'm gonna cast Wall of Fire. Fuck all of these guys. These six guys, in particular. <laughs> You being order, I assume. Actually, never mind, I can't do that. I'm concentrating on the wolves. Forget it. Forget it. I'm just gonna think about doing things. Okay, thank you. Uh, what's my range on. Wait, no, I had to dash to get back. Never mind. Okay, anyone else? Uh, we're beginning uh... to get, uh, like, people like, uh, Arazid and Audra, if you have any. Like 75 plus feet things, you might be able to focus them on the nearest group. Okay, well, there's just so fucking many, and I'm trying to find the best place to place, like fucking volley. And it, it, it the calculus needed is staggering. Oops. Uh, Let me try once more. Because my short range is. There's only 80 as well. And I don't want to get closer. Okay. Well, I think they're within 75. We can right? just wait until they get closer, but it's going to get... Yeah, this group's in 75 closer. feet. Yeah, so you'd be able to hit five of them. You know, I, actually, I'm going to... Guiding Bolt. Why, why have I not been Guiding Bolting? I can... Guiding Bolt super fucking far. Can I just hold an, uh, like a volley plus like, like hold like a volley for them to get a little closer? Uh, yeah, sure. If they stepped like ten feet closer, you'd be able to get I think nine of them because it's within. Yeah, it'd be like a sick, disgusting amount of them. It'd just be yeah, an absolutely hideous amount of them. So I'm gonna duck into the the like the the woodlands here if I can. Yeah, you'd be able and to move, like, one square over. Yeah, that does, that, like, right here is what I was gonna do. Yeah. And, and, uh, I guess just use my fucking action to hide. Actually, no, I'm gonna if bonus action... If you radiate action... an action, you can't use Oh, yeah, yeah, action. I, then I'm just gonna bonus action freaking, uh... Uh... Cause I kinda wanna guarantee that I'm hidden, so I'm gonna, uh, bonus action Nature's Veil. Okay. And that last, um... Until the start of my next turn, so even if I attack, I'm still invisible. Okay. And slowly and surely, more of the forces move up. W would I have been able to archer arrow guiding bolt them, or, or all? Of oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you would have been able to do some guiding okay. bolts. One of these is the bonus action. One of these, ah, uh, forget that guiding bolt. That guiding bolt is a piece of shit. But the archer arrow would do the bonus action. That didn't work. Just trying to keep them in the same position. Uh, so you'd be hitting the, the, the guys that Arizid was also yeah, looking to hit. Yeah, that would have been... yeah. Just, I, I thought I saw Arizid aiming and I was like, fuck that guy, fuck cool. that guy. 
And Arazid, you are you were readying the thing, and now they're more within range. So, okay, I can hit. Can I hit some of them at disadvantage if I'm hitting some of them at advantage? Huh? Like if I if some of them are are within my long range, can I hit them at disadvantage while still hitting others with? I mean, like hit them with the disadvantage plus the advantage, uh, like you know, because uh, oh, from you've, hiding. At... You've readied your attack for when enough of them were in like your regular range. So you'd okay, be so to... I can't hit the ones at long range. There are uh there are enough in your regular range in your like that they would be able to cover your total area. Like, okay. you waited, I'm assuming you waited until there was, like, an, a complete radius in your normal range. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I think I can hit eight of them. Um, with volley. Yeah, if I recall the rules of volley properly, um, you pick one space and then you can hit everything at a ten foot radius, right? Okay, yeah, and, and right. never mind like the, the radius. So I can only hit like five or something. Five, yep. So please roll me five attacks. Because I, I forgot, I forgot that the squares are the squares are. Yes. The, 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 they the, also uh, the messing me up. Do we? I empathize. I couldn't think of another way to represent this, I'm sorry. No, you're you're so fine, it's just, you know, you play so much D&D &D and you get used to it being a certain it's way. It's conventions, right? yeah. baby! Uh, I'm gonna roll five attacks at advantage because I am invisible. And the first one will have sneak attack. We're not doing like regular combat here, so just keep them coming. Nice. So those all hits. Get, ignore the two. The sneak attack didn't take off itself in time. I don't know why. Oh well. Cool. So that ha the a lot of them are looking quite wounded. That is, I think it for um, readied actions. Um, at this point, the defenders are going to start doing some defense. However, not all of them can like rush in right away because there's like some acid rain going on and they kind of don't want to get hit by that. one group of towers completely annihilate these guys in no small part thanks to the damage already done to them by Arizid and Audra. Uh, this group also do a good amount of hurt and the others will just like line up a bit more. Party time. Hmm. Hundred feet. Um, Audra's gonna move forward and cast Code of Cold on all these fuckers. <laughs> uh, just remind me of the description. Also, yeah, you take one d six acid damage. Oh, for real? I thought it was just, that was just when it initially rained down. Demon? Is it a continuous acid rain? <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to tell, honestly. Um, the wording doesn't just say says... one way or another. No, so it's your choice. <laughs> well, uh, a cloud is formed. Uh, each creature and object under the cloud takes 1d6 acid damage. Audra has just moved under the cloud. I'm okay. fine with this. Yeah, but we're on to the third phase, aren't we? Like the third one where lightning comes down? I'm about to back up, don't worry. I'm gonna cast this and then I'm gonna back the fuck up. 
yeah, I'm, we're technically on to the third phase, but I'll okay. Uh, I'll give some grace and say that when Solus pipes up, uh, well, when Ilda, I mean, pipes up, is when we'll hit on to the third phase. Her yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Oh wait, you rolled it. Never mind. Anyway, after I cast that, I back the fuck up and get behind Chance again. <laughs> Uh, so okay. these guys actually have like a decent con. Um, so I'm gonna roll like one. I'm gonna cast woe on the most fucking asshole looking one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna roll like a save for each of uh for each of the units, and then deduct uh an amount depending on how much they fail by by each of these units all right that okay i'll just add five to each of you guys individually and your dc is 22 so none of them technically pass so the losses are going to be quite severe Um, so if I were to lightning bolt like this, would you say that hits all five of those groups? Because it's a hundred foot width? line. Wait, yeah, how no. wide is yeah, that's bolt? right. Uh, lightning bolt. If it's ten feet, then you're probably fine to cut through there. Ah, uh, it's a five feet. foot wide. Mm. So it'd be are... more along the lines of. Because technically it does go over, even if I do just like a straight line. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, guess, like, yeah, that's it would hit like some in all of them is kind of what I'm asking. Yeah, it would hit some in all of them. It would hit... Um... I would also start that one more forward, because I feel like you can hit one more group if you start one step forward. Well, I then can't move back, because I only have 60 feet of movement. Ah. Because it's moved 25 feet forward. Fire off a lightning bolt, move 25 feet back. Because I was going to move over to where Erezid was to get like four, but uh, then that one got taken out. So now I think my best bet is probably going through here and just kind of, you know, dealing some damage to all of them. Because angling it's going to be my best bet. So yeah, yeah I think you'd be able to my... hit like a maximum of like six of any one unit, depending yeah, on the I exact mean, that's... angling. Yeah, so move like twenty five feet forward. That's probably my best angle because mm. I need to also fall back uh, a bit to be so you know can be within the line. Yeah, so that's going to be. Let me just let it linger there for a second. Uh, so that's going to be it. Then, uh, I'm, yeah, I'll just cast it at, I'll cast it, I'll cast it at fourth level. Well, that's because I don't have that many fourth level spells. Oh, whoops. Uh, it's over here. Lightning bolts, where's lightning bolts? It's fire bolts. It's chain lightning. Where's lightning bolts? Did I not make a thing? Ah. Um, so that's 8d6, so 96. Uh, so 22 damage save on a 21. Uh, dexterity. Okay. Uh, I know what their dex is. <laughs> So there are definitely uh, those that you did hit in each of those groups did not survive. So out of the one, two, three, four, five groups you've hit, each of them are gonna lose four people. Okay, so I more or less vaporized one battalion over the length of yes. multiple. So their numbers are down and then move my 25 feet back. 
uh, I'd move like another 10 feet back, but I can't really represent that. Uh, that's all for me. All right, um, let's do the storm bit, shall we? So, yes. Um, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and then like two random dudes in this platoon mm -hmm. are gonna get striked with lightning. Okay. Um, so he's gonna need a deck save from each of them. Basically, four big leaders, and just two random jackasses. Uh, this this is a platoon of um, right, okay. the same type of people that you just fought. Okay, in that case, I guess these three guys and then three random dudes from this one. I don't know why, but this one looks important to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's the purple sticker. Yeah. They're also the closest ones to where we plan on jumping into. Uh. So they need to roll. Dex saves. furiously. Thank you. Dex saves. Uh, just so you know, this is against a save of 19. Cool. The ghost lord passes. Yeah. Um, and it's half damage on success, so. Let me. Right, and you so... were also aiming for just three random gobos, was that right? Or three random. Uh, three random in this guy. Ghostos. Okay. Yes. Uh, since I know that they have uh, quite a low um, dex, I'm just going to say those three die. Ooh. Um, that's going to be 30 damage to each of them. Lightning. Okay, they wouldn't. Okay, two of them would die then. Okay. We didn't roll very well. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Wait a second. I need to add another 3d6 because I only rolled 66 for some reason. <gasps> well done. Uh, so add another 8 damage to uh, like that big line that I did. Already. I'm not sure if that would evaporate like another one from each or anything. Uh, it wouldn't or, like, change. Another guy. No, it wouldn't change the the mix that much. Okay. But it's always good to remember. I am beginning to realize that I think I have not thought through these mechanics enough. <laughs> but I don't know how else to do them. So let's just persist for a little while until I begin to regret it even further. I'm assuming with no one else wanting to do anything, we'll go back to the attackers. I do, I think. I've just been thinking for so fucking long because I everything is within 60 feet for me. So, uh, huh. I'm gonna go do some dumb shit. Um, if I die, I die, fuck it. At least I live free. Uh, that action, you? I'm gonna go invisible. <laughs> no, I think. Mm. I need to think about how I do this properly. Ayo. Everybody, uh... If everybody, like, comes to chance, I can also just teleport us behind them, and we can try and just get rid of the head of the snake. I was gonna say, is, ev is all of the party in there? Pretty much. Uh, in this general area. The yeah. main party. Right. I can... Oh, but that's um... fine. Yeah, like Samantha and Luca are in with the dogs, Ilda is in with the druids, but the main party are all like on the front line. Yeah, there's right. like 20, 25 foot kind of like little radius. I can, I can get us to the back lines if that is something we want. I mean, I think it's probably our best bet is to go kill the leadership and then just kind of start cutting through the back line hoping that I'm that going to assume routes. that Chance is the like the middle, because I can't target the middle. So bonus yeah. action, I'm going to spend five side points to teleport 100 feet right into the middle of the party. Uh, I Hello. am then going to grab everyone uh, yeah, and use my action for six side points to cast... No, it's not cast, to use Phantom Caravan. Uh, so that is the entire party. Okay. Uh, and I can teleport them within a choice 
space within a mile. Okay. So, uh, someone pick a spot while I mark resources off my sheet. I think the ghost uh... lord, I think we should just, like, teleport behind him and nothing personnel yeah. kid him. Okay, yeah, I just... I, he seems to be alone, and it's gonna take, like, we'll get probably, like, a surprise round, and then they don't have... They're still deafened, so it's not like they can receive orders. Oh, so they the, don't hear leader... us teleport in. Yeah, their leadership is still technically can't communicate to their forces, so they Verbally. can't call for reinforcement. So Verbally, we just kind of yes. go behind their lines, kill their leadership, and then go deal with mechas. Uh, uh, well, we hope that everybody else can handle these goblins. Yep, just... in that case, I will teleport the whole party behind. Okay. Just be aware that next round everyone is taking two d six gold damage. <laughs> I'm assuming damage. like here. Can we can um, we go? Can we move somewhere where we're not taking that damage? How big is the cloud? Uh, I think it covers the entire. It's the entire area. red. Um, okay. oh, they probably don't I don't see, see that. red. Hold on. Let me uh, really fix that, that. That would be nice. Um, ah. it's about like <laughs> that. <laughs> Still, I'm okay with taking two d six gold damage. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I can heal. So let me. Yes, it's two d six bludgeoning, and then after that, it's one d six six cold uh, for the next. Before we rush into combat, if I could get like a, a a little heal, that'd be nice. Oh, oh, basic. Can I hold Phantom Caravan for when the people who need, basically, once I get verbal confirmation from the party, sure, I will then. It's, it's an action, right? Yeah, it's an action. Cool. So I'm basically just, getting like, ready to do it. You just pop up in front of the party and you be like, are, are you ready to venture forth? The things may not look the same once you go from this point. She just looks pissed. <laughs> she's, she's done with this. I mean, I think this is our best bet. Um, because if not, like... I, I don't I think... know if what we have can deal with this. If we kill the ghost lord, it might kill. It might get rid of these like ghosts, and then I think we're in a much better position. I cannot do they... anything unless I am within sixty, so I'm up for it. Like that's just my personal thing. Like even if it doesn't get rid of, the... like if it gets rid of these ghosts, we are in a very good position. If we kill the ghost lord and gets rid of them. Um, they can't fall back to reinforce the Ghost Lord, so it's basically going to be us just kind of vibing oh, that's against the Ghost Lord. Because they, they're deafened, and the Ghost Lord is still currently deafened. You know, I, so I it's actually not think like... I want to stay here, because I can... Everything I can hit the Ghost Lord with, I can hit with from here, and also from here I can do other stuff that's going to help, like, keep the army off our gate. So I actually think I want to stay, because I'm not going to be more help in melee. I would need I to mean, get in, do some shit, and then leave, because if that drops concentration with what I'm planning, we're in trouble. I mean, most of my- like, I can just start casting lightning bolts, but eventually I'm going to be out, and then I just- I'm a melee fighter. So I think it's best to go try and assassinate the Ghost Lord. Hopefully that gets rid of, like, these fuckers on the flanks. That leaves us with, like, one big pack in the middle that I think we can defend against. Um, chances all for going with, uh, Providence to try and assassinate the Ghost Lord. Audra is gonna, is gonna attack the Ghost Lord too, but she's just, she wants to stay here. So, tactically, I want to remain here. Okay. Isn't Storm of Vengeance fun? <laughs> it's something. Uh, so everyone in the main party but Audra teleports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Audra's a long range fighter. She doesn't need to be going there. And like 200 feet plus long range? Is it 200 feet plus? It's, yeah, you, you're 225 feet away from the Ghost Lord where you are. What I'm planning on doing then, in this case, is they're, they're fighting the Ghost Lord. Um, I'm gonna, when the army gets close enough, I'm gonna drop Wall of Fire and make them walk through the Wall of Fire to get any further. Okay. After my friends disappear. So we should get a surprise round against the Ghost Lord, because he can't hear. Us just kind of teleport behind him. Uh, and can't communicate to his allies. Nice. Uh, to come get defense, so we can just jump this guy and shank the fuck out of him. So again, I point out that he can not hear anything verbal. 
Uh, but as you've learned in previous uh, RP sessions, a lot of these uh, generals don't communicate verbally, they communicate through the system of fungi. Yeah, and the nodes. Yeah, but I've kind of presumed that's probably what this uh, worm lord's for. And the ghost lord handles his ghost tribe thing. Uh, worst case, I can get us out with teleport. As long as everybody stays within 10 feet of me. Or like within, so they can run up and I can hold my action and teleport us back. Okie dokie. Um... That is definitely a combat that's going to take a bit of a while, I think. It is just the four of you that are getting there. That's not really the best way to represent deafness. Uh... Sure, why not that? Uh, like, how, how far in would you want to transport? Because you can finesse this a little bit. Within one, within a standard set of movement for myself, so that with so as long as I am within thirty feet. Great. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I think that's All good because I'm going to rush this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that. Is a combat I think that we're going to pick up with at the beginning of next week. Oh boy! Because it's going to uh. take a bit of time, and I'll I'll, I'll just let you sweat. Mm. So we confirmed that the worm lord or the ghost lord is immune to psychic and fire damage. Yes. Do I just not use cantrips? I'll yeah. also a I'll just do a screen cap of um the area of the storm of vengeance. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that isn't right. Hold on. On yeah, to the. I have. I doubt these okay. ghosts are probably they're probably immune to cold damage, which means thunder damage is my last one to test. Uh Thunder damage was already dealt against the ghost lord, and he didn't seem to have any um. No, it, wasn't. It, was, it was just normal to him. Yeah, it was just. Yeah, oh, I believe it so was um, blade Audra work. that cast that. Yeah, she had yeah. call lightning going during that whole last battle. Yeah. Yeah. It was clutch. Well, that was um. A lot of fighting. <laughs> mm. A lot of regrets. As I said, we've had many sessions uh -oh. of RP holding on, holding this off. Now it's time for this combat to hold off RP. Yes. Ah, uh, but you, but you don't understand our power. We'll have, we'll have a cinematic montage in the back of our heads, and then Q five five sessions of uh, retroactive RP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it like the next few sessions are just going to be when you guys are describing to like the urchins of Grove that are remaining how you heroically fought the whole army single handedly and destroyed the forest. <laughs> we're gonna be exaggerating so hard, we're gonna be like, yeah, the army was millions of people. You're gonna be exaggerating <sighs> so hard that Ollie's gonna be proud of you. Yeah. I totally forgot I have fucking Absorb Element and could have reduced some of that damage I took. Oof. Yeah. I, I keep forgetting Absorb have, like, Element reaction. is any elemental damage, not just, like, the basic ones of, like, fire, lightning, cold. Yeah. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. 